get to cleaning my strap. I'm gonna go from tail or heel to tail. Got it hanging by the tail so I can keep it taunt on both sides. Just take your knife. And get a straight cut up to the tail. Same thing over here. down here a little bit for knife. That makes it real soft. Muskrats are delicate when it comes to cleaning them. Be careful so you don't rip anything. I never ripped it very often, but you know every blue moon I'll rip open the intestines or something. Keep back here. Now you don't have to cut around the feet. And just put your finger right in there, hold it off. Same thing over here, just work it back. Keep your knife. Most of the time, you can just peel this down. But I want to show you. I don't want to rip anything for this, so I'm just gonna take my time, use my knife. I'm already ripping it. So if you got a squirmy stomach, just don't look at that. You can just peel right down here, folks. Pop his legs out. Just like that. You don't have to cut around him. Legs are free. I'm hitting the face with the chain. Keep pressure on that skin. Work around, cut around his ears there. Cut around his eyes. Pull its head off, which is about what's to happen, but that's our angle. We'll try to prevent that from happening. Work it down, cut around the cartridge of its nose. That's how you skin a muskrat, folks. Nothing to it. Quick and easy. Make sure you get it good and dry though before you put it in the freezer. How you skin a muskrat.